So as you guys know, it's been about a year since I did my last collection video. A lot has changed since then. And not too long ago, I posted on my Instagram a little bit of a teaser, seeing if you guys wanted to see another or a new updated collection video. And the response was pretty good. It got a lot of likes, a lot of people commenting saying they wanted to see it, more so than I was expecting. And that was about four weeks ago. I've been putting it off because, quite honestly, this is a kind of a tough video to film because there's a lot of fragrances and there's a lot of stuff to get through. What you're about to see out here isn't all of them. I have another room with another shelf that we're going to have to get into later in the video uh, that we have to get through. That's a lot of my niche fragrances and some backup bottles and stuff. So we have a lot of fragrances to get through here. I'm going to try my best to run through this as quickly as possible. So I hope you guys are ready to see what my collection looks like now compared to last year. Let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start off on this end. It's kind of jumbled down here, a little bit of random. It's more organized down there, so we'll get started down here. And I do wanna shout out my girlfriend for recording this for me, helping making my life a lot easier to do this video. So, let's go and knock this out, actually starting off on the floor, because I couldn't fit everything up here. Calvin Klein Eternity Flame, it's on the floor for a reason, it's not that good. Angel Man, the new release. Um, an empty bottle of Halloween Man X. We've got Gucci Guilty Cologne. We've got a small little bottle of Burberry Brit. Really nice, cheap ginger rose fragrance. We've got Hollister Wave. Uh, not a bad scent. We've got a small bottle of Mont Blanc Explorer. We've got a bottle of Azara Wanted EDT. Just about empty. And then, of course, we have a bottle of Cool Water EDT. Let's move up to the shelf. Starting out up here. Hugo Boss Reversed, we've got Burberry Touch, we've got CK1 Summer 2020, we've got Mercedes-Benz Cologne, we have Azaro C, Azaro Fun, we've got Burberry Seduction, or uh, Urban Seduction by Antonio Banderas, uh, Bath and Body Works Atlantic, uh, Mercedes-Benz The Move, We've got Dunhill Century Blue. We've got another bottle of Mont Blanc Explorer 100 ml. We've got Guess 1981 Indigo. We've got Davidoff Cool Water Wave. We've got Halloween Man, the original. Uh, or that might be Halloween Man Shot, I don't remember. Uh, Halloween Man X, a full bottle. We've got Replica Under the Lemon Trees right here. We've got Urban Seduction, or I'm sorry, Blue Seduction by Antonio Banderas. Then we've got Lacoste White, Lacoste uh, Eau Fraiche, Valentino Womo Noir Absolu. We've got uh, Valentino Womo Aqua, and a small bottle of Valentino Womo Intense. Up next, we've got Moschino Toy Boy, the new release. Behind that, we have a small 30 mil of Guerlain Home EDT. And we've got Noir Argent Isignaki, Bentley for Men Intense, Bentley Momentum Intense, um, Sadrap Boise by Mancera, Guess uh, Noir, Guess 1981, oh, is this actually? Uh, Guess, uh, I don't know, Here, I'll put it up on the screen. Up next, we've got Bulgari Aqua Marine, Bulgari Aqua Amara, Bulgari Aqua Atlantique. Bulgari Aqua Atlantique again, Bulgari Aqua Amara, and Bulgari Aqua Marine Tonic. Issey Miyake Wood and Wood. We have uh, Armoff Legacy, Armoff uh, Craze Blue, John Paul Gautier Ultra Male, Fan Defendi Aqua, really nice underrated summer scent. Now we've got Nautica Midnight Voyage, Nautica Voyage. Nautica Voyage Heritage, Nautica Voyage Sport, Nautica Voyage N83, Nautica Voyage, then an old bottle of Nautica Voyage with the metal cap um, behind there. Then back here we've got Perry Ellis 360 Red, uh, F Black Porome, Tommy Bahama Island Life, Hanny Mori Him. Zaharoff Signature Pour Own, and my bottle of Penguin Premium Blend. Okay, moving up next here, we've got Polo Deep Blue Parfum, the new release. 
Loam IDL Cologne by Guerlain, CH Men Privé, we've got CH Men Red Ribbon, um, we've got Dolce & Gabbana K, got Mont Blanc Legend Spirit, got Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue O Intense, got Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Love is Love, We've got Dolce Gabbana Light Blue Swimming in Lapari. Then we have Spice Bomb Extreme, Spice Bomb Eau Fraiche, Spice Bomb EDT, Calvin Klein Eternity EDT, Calvin Klein Eternity Summer 2020, and oh, I'm sorry, okay, Eternity EDT, and then this one was actually Eternity EDP, not EDT. Moving right here, we have. Jeremy Fragrance Office for Men, uh, Jeremy Fragrance Date for Men or Fragrance One. We have Givenchy Gentleman EDP, Givenchy Gentleman Absolute, Givenchy Gentleman Cologne, one of the best summer releases as of the last couple of years in my opinion, Zaro Porome, Zaro Porome Intense, Zaro Porome Wild Mint, Zaro Porome Ginger Lover. Now we got Abercrombie and Fitch First Instinct, Abercrombie and Fitch First Instinct Extreme. And back here we have Gucci Porome Two. Up um, next here we have Carner Barcelona Elborn, Invictus Original, Invictus Legend, Invictus Aqua 2016, Invictus Aqua 2018, Paco Rabanne Pure Excess Night, Jimmy Choo Man Ice. Back here we have Terry Hermes. What is this? Parfum, Terre d'Hermes EDT, Terre d'Hermes Eau Intense Vetiver, Terre d'Hermes Eau Tres Fraiche. Moving up next, we have some Tom Fords right up here up front. We have Costa Azura right there. And we've got Oud Mineral, Tobacco Vani. And then these are a little bit tricky to get to. We have Ombre Leather 16. We have Italian Cypress. Tuscan Leather, Beau Du Jour, we've got Fougere d'Argent, and we have Tobacco Oud to complete the private blends. Well, we got one more, Costa Zura Aqua. So the private blends. Back here we got the Signature Beau Du Jour. We have uh, Grey Vetiver Eau de Toilette. Discontinued, we have Grey, Grey Vetiver Eau de Parfum, EDP. And then one more Tom Ford, we have Noir Extreme. Now we got a few Prada fragrances. We got Prada Loam, Prada Loam Low, Prada Loam Intense, uh, Prada Loam Water Splash. Okay. At least that was on video. Good save. Okay. Now we got some Versace fragrances Versace Man Eau Fraiche, Versace Man Eau Fraiche, Versace Dylan Blue. Versace Dylan Blue, Versace Pour Ohm, these are both 200 mil bottles, Versace Eros, 200 mil bottle. Now we got my John Varvatos fragrances. So we got John Varvatos Pour Ohm, John Varvatos Vintage, John Varvatos Nick Jonas Red, John Varvatos Dark Rebel, John Varvatos Dark Rebel Rider, John Varvatos Artisan, and then John Varvatos Artisan Aqua. John Varvatos Artisan Pure, and John Varvatos Artisan Blue, and then we do have John Varvatos Star USA right there, kind of an oddball. Moving up next, we have some Armani fragrances. These are kind of mixed in here. I'll do these first. Armani Code Profumo, Armani Code Absolute, Armani Code Colonia, Armani Code, Armani Code A-List. Right here we got Absolute Instinct, Aqua de Jo, Aqua de Jo Profumo Special Blend. Got Aqua de Jo Profumo, 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 and then we have Profondo, and of course we have Ascenza. Let's move on to the Dior fragrances now. These are back here. These are going to be tricky as well. Dior Eau Sauvage Cologne. We have Dior Eau Sauvage Parfum. Dior Ohm 2020. Uh, let's see. We got Dior Ohm. These are going to be tough as well. Dior Homme O, Dior Homme Cologne, Dior Homme Sport 2008 version, 
another bottle of Dior Homme Cologne in the 200 mil, just in case we ever need that. Dior Homme Sport 2017 version. Dior Homme uh, original formulation with a silver stem. And we have Dior Homme Intense. Dior Homme Intense. Dior Homme Intense. Dior Homme Parfum. And we got my some of my Sauvage. I have more Sauvage Eau de Toilette in the other room as backups. We've got Sauvage Very Cool Spray, Sauvage EDT, Sauvage EDP, Sauvage Parfum. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and move on to my Chanel fragrances now. Um, let's go and get started. Blue de Chanel Eau de Toilette, Blue de Chanel Eau de Parfum, Blue de Chanel Parfum, these are all 150s. A uh, little 50 ml of Chanel Allure Homme Edition Blanche. A 100 ml of Edition Blanche of the Eau de Toilette Concentration. We have a 100 ml of Allure Homme Sport Eau de Toilette Concentration. Uh, 100 ml of Allure Homme Sport. We have Chanel Allure Homme. We have Chanel Allure Homme Sport Cologne Sport. We have Chanel Allure Homme Edition Blanche. We have Chanel Allure Homme Sport. And Chanel Le Rome Sport O Extreme. Those are all 150s. Also with the Chanel's, we have Platinum Ego East right here. We have an older style bottle of Platinum Ego East. We have a bottle of Pour Monsieur uh, Eau de Toilette. We have Pour Monsieur Eau de Toilette Concentré. Yes, they are different. And of course, finally, to end the Chanel's, Pour Monsieur Eau de Parfum. Okay, so we're running down to the end here as you can see. We got some Yves Saint Laurent fragrances to check out. So starting off here, Yves Saint Laurent Loam. This is a, like an older 2012 batch, I believe. Yves Saint Laurent Lanouille de Loam Eau Electrique. We have Loam Old Team. Lanouille de Loam, 200 mil. This is a like 2017 batch. I have my vintage ones in the other room. YSL M7. YSL M7 in the darker style. YSL Reve Gauche Pour Ohm. Then we've got the Y fragrances. Yves Saint Laurent Y EDT, Y Live, Y EDP, and Y O Fresh. Okay, now we got some Lacoste fragrances kind of out of place. My other ones were over there, I just couldn't fit these, so I had to put them here. Lacoste Loam, Lacoste Loam and Tint. Lacoste Loam Timeless. Now we got some niche fragrances to get into here really quickly. Um, we'll start off back here. Baccarat Rouge 540 in 200ml. Baccarat Rouge 540 in 70ml. Uh, Masculine Pluriel 70ml. We have a small, small portion of my Creed collection here. Again, a lot of the other stuff is in the other room. I just, you know, obviously I'm out of room. I'm putting stuff on the floor out here. Creed Silver Mountain Water, 120ml. Creed Royal Mayfair, Creed Viking, Creed Aventus, my new bottle, Creed Aventus, my 2016 bottle, and a, what is this, 11 z one 2011 bottle of Erolfa. Um, up next, we got some Roja fragrances, or actually all of my Roja fragrances. Start off here, Oceania, or uh, Oceania. How would you say that? I'm not going to lie, I don't know the correct pronunciation of this one. I, it, it just smells good and it looks cool so I purchased it without doing research on pronunciation. Scandal Parfum Cologne. We have Vetiver Parfum Cologne. We have Creation E Parfum Cologne. And Danger Parfum Cologne. Moving up here, we have some others here. We have Vetiver Parfum, uh, Scandal Parfum, those are my two favorites, I love Scandal and Vetiver, Elysium uh, Parfum, you guys know how much I love Elysium, and then we have three more bottles of Elysium Parfum Cologne. I do have a few more things here, we have Guerlain Spiritus Double Vanille, I'll probably butchered that one as well, Gentleman's Collection, The Formal, House of Siage, these are probably some of the coolest bottles I have. That's pretty cool. See, it blocks it. You push the button and you can spray. This stuff smells incredible. Like a kind of smells like Platinum Ego East to me, honestly. Um, we have um, Aeronauts, which was a limited edition. And then finally, we have um, House Number Four. Then back here, we have a bottle of Hassavat. 
And then we have a few uh, Parfums Vintage Fragrances, Aqua Intense, obviously Invictus Aqua uh, Inspiration, Emperor Maximus, did a video on that already, um, Emperor Maximus Extrait, again that's three out of a lot more that I have, and then of course, you probably saw this guy right here, um, probably the most unnecessary thing I've ever purchased, um, this is uh, uh, Fougere Royale by Havajant, probably butchered that as well. You guys know I love my Fougere fragrances. This is kind of known to be one of the best out there. Um, these these aren't cheap. I mean, these go, I think, for like 600 bucks on Neiman Marcus. Um, um, like I said, it's completely unnecessary. Does it smell great? Yes, but would you pay 600 bucks for Fougere? Would you? You probably wouldn't. Um, it, it's, it's expensive. There's a lot of other Fougeres that you can get for a cheaper price, but I mean, come on. Does that ever get old? I don't think so. Okay guys, so there you go. That's this section of my collection. Now we gotta head into the other room. We have a few more things to get through and then we're gonna wrap this up. Okay guys, so here we are at the last shelf. You guys may recognize this spot. This is where I recorded all my videos about a year ago. Um, shelf's looking pretty bare because everything's out there, but we still do have some stuff. Starting with my Creed collection. So let's get into this here. We have Creedaventus 17X01, 50ml Creedaventus uh, perfume oil. We've got um, what is this? 17N01 Creedaventus, 16H11 Creedaventus, and then uh, a mystery batch. I don't know the batch it rubbed off. It's obviously an older style, anywhere from 2010 to 2013. Um, there's not much in there either. Um, that'll cost you about $300, just that little bit right there. So. That's pretty cool. Um, up here we have original Santal, Santal. We've got Bois de Portugal, Royal Oud, uh, Royal Water, another bottle of Royal Water, different uh, batches. We've got Astier Aluminum. We've got Silver Mountain Water, another bottle of Silver Mountain Water. Up next here we have, what is this? Uh, Zesty Mandarin Pamplemousse. Got um, this is probably yeah this is ombre canal you can't even see that's down here by far the worst fragrance I've ever smelled it's absolutely horrendous uh, Virgin Island Water 2008 batch Spice and Wood uh, Creed Green Valley 75 ml Creed Green Valley 120 ml Creed Mill Seam Imperial 120 Spice and Wood again. Um, a 2010 bottle of let's see what yeah 2010 bottle of original Centaur or a flacone I guess I should say and a 2017 flacone of Virgin Island water. <laughs> okay, so down here we have an empty bottle of Y Cell Loam. Not really sure why. Bois de Vetiver, Carl Lagerfeld, Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce. Um, got some Manseras back here, so Mansara Sicily, Mansara Black Gold, Mansara Wave Musk, Mansara uh, Wild Candy. This bottle leaked and completely destroyed this over here, so um, that's great. Mansara Lemon Line literally smells like lemon heads. It smells pretty good. Uh, Wild Fruits, Mansara. Moving up next. Replica by the Fireplace, YSL Tuxedo, Nishane Oolong Cha, a tea fragrance, Initio Absolute Aphrodisiac and Side Effect, um, Bottle of Gucci Envy, uh, a 50 ml bottle of Elborn, and then we have a sealed uh, 100 ml of Elborn, just kind of chilling, Bergamot 22, Lay Lava. Atelier Cologne, Bergamot Soleil, Amouage uh, Reflection Man, Amouage mm, what we got? Jubilation, yep, Amouage Jubilation, Amouage Beloved Man. Uh, last time I did my video on this, I missed my Amouage collection, so I left you hanging for a year for three of the Amouage fragrances that I own, so there you go. Um, MFK CL de Gum or Seal de Gum, this, this is a uh, exclusive, kind of hard to get these days. Um, smells like a cinnamon wax candle. I never really talked about this too much on the channel, but I am glad to have it. 
I just never wear it. Um, this, this is how it is with most of my stuff. MFK Grand Soir, MFK Petite Matin, MFK Aqua Vitae. Back here, Dior Feb Delicieuse, Great Tonka Mina Scent. Uh, Byredo Bal d'Afrique. Um, Royal Crown Sea Island. Really just bought it because the cap. Um, Zerzhoff 40 Knots. It's kind of like a marine summery type fragrance. It's the only Zerzhoff that I own. Um, so that's pretty cool. Moving down here, we have all the Parfums Vintage I was talking about. So we're going to start off with four of the new releases right here. We have Obsession and Siderite. We have Sublime Leather. And Sequitur. Okay, these are four of the new releases I haven't had a chance to talk about and test all that much for videos. So, that's that. Um, Pineapple Vintage Intense Gold, one of my favorites. We have, uh, what is this, Emperor Napoleon. Citrus Number no. 1 Intense. Brilliant Bergamot, that's a uh, Bergamot 22 inspiration. Isla Tropical Privé, that is Virgin Island Water. Embu, which is a uh, Gucciporum 2. Rush of Unicorns, a uh, very popular, uh, great, great take on older batches of Milsim Imperial. It's probably one of their best, in my opinion. Summer Bottled Intense. Siage of Unicorns, which is Rush of Unicorns mixed with Baccarat Rouge 540 inspiration. Yeah, it's uh, their Baccarat Rouge 540 mixed with uh, Creed Milsim Imperial. Uh, Verbena Fields, one of the best takes on Green Irish Tweed, green batch of Green Irish Tweed, obviously. Uh, Cacophony, which is a uh, take on Chanel Coromandel, smells amazing. X-Batch Intense, you guys know X-Batch. And then King Intense. Okay, moving up here we have Emperor Colossus, Pineapple Vintage Intense, just the OG, Sublime Musk, Emperor Extrait, Vanilla Intense, yeah, I don't even have to talk about that. That's incredible. If you haven't smelled a vanilla heavy uh, inspiration of Aventus, you gotta check it out. One of the best. And just the original King right here. We've got Suave, their take on Lanoui de Lome. We have Oriental Woods, which is Tom Ford Oud Wood. Up here we've got Sunset in Heaven. So this is what I was talking about. This is their take on Back Rouge 540. This mixed with Rush of Unicorns that creates Sunset in heaven. Evolution de Lome Soir, their take on Elysium, incredible. And last but not least for Parfums Vintage here, we have Exultant Le Musk Intense, which is their take on Bleecker Street. Okay, moving right here, getting down to the very end of it. Are you guys happy? I, I am devastated. We've got Davidoff Eau de Parfum Cool Water, CK Shock, um, Eternity Happy, not Eternity Happy, what's it called? Clinique Happy. Guys, this 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 is why I wanted to put this off. CH Bad Boy, not really a fan, I don't even think I've put that in videos really. Um, one of my favorites, and probably one of the most expensive in my collection, um, Bod. Um, up next we have Davidoff Run Wild, uh, Gas 1981 Los Angeles. An empty or almost empty bottle of Neroli Intense by Parfums Vintage. I don't know how that got out over there. Roberto Cavalli Deep Desire uh, Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Sun. We got Dolce & Gabbana The One EDP. Empty bottle of Versace Man. A bottle of Mandarina Duck Black. Coach for Men. Platinum. Last shelf on here. This is a lot of backup bottles. This might be kind of redundant. CH Men. Um, CH Men. This one's full. And then we have two sealed bottles of Red Ribbon CH Men. So, honestly, I don't know why I have this much of it. Kind of just ended up there. Lana Weed Delome, this is a four digit batch code OG in the metal cap. You hear that? Metal cap. And it's also got the thicker atomizer. So, this is the first formulation that started it all. We have another four digit batch code right there, but this one's not metal, so it's not as cool. Lanoui de Lome Edition Art, which is a 2013 batch, so this is uh, not completely like OG vintage, but it's about as close as you can get without having to pay an arm and a leg. 
More Dior, Dior Sauvage. Dior Sauvage Eau de Toilette. Eau de Toilette. Eau de Toilette. Toilette. You get the idea here. Product Carbon. Abercrombie and Fitch Authentic. Awful fragrance. A little worth the money, in my opinion. Dior Aqua Fahrenheit. The only Aqua, or the only Fahrenheit fragrance that I have in my collection. Um, that needs to change because I love Fahrenheit. Down here we have just another bottle of Allure Homme Sport Cologne Sport. Um, we have a bottle of Aqua Atlantique. This one's mostly full. We got my little stash of Invictus Aqua down here. 2016, 2016, 2016, and another 2018. No, none of it's for sale. Another bottle of Dior Homme Sport 2008. Dior Homme O, Dior Homme Sport 2012. Okay, so we're on the home stretch here. Let's get this knocked out. This is my cheapy shelf, basically, just stuff that kind of honestly collects dust. We're not putting you in too close on the zoom because you would see that this dust is horrendous. I'm ashamed, but what can you do? I, I just, I don't like to dust. Um, what is this? Homme Noir by Jean-Marc Paris. This was something I got at like TJ Maxx or something like that. Um, it smells like Creed Seam Imperial. It smells like um, Victorinox 125 years. Issey Miyake Lodice. Um, Sportsman by East West Bottlers. This is, I put it in a sample so I can atomize it. Swiss Arabian Atar Algutra, Dua uh, Poseidon's Cologne. My girlfriend actually won that in a raffle for me. That was pretty cool. It's their take on Aventus Cologne. Uh, Lotus A Porome Shade of Lagoon. We got, well, that's nice. Uh, again, some of my more expensive ones I keep shelved in here. I'm not lying about the dust, it's bad. Hollister Beacons Beach and Hollister SoCal. Back here we have some Alexandrias, we got Chick Magnet, um, Gourmand Kiss, we've got Black Tie Affair, Interplay Street, Terrace Night, Loyalty, Cacao Dreams. These are all good inspirations um, for the money. Back here we have a bottle of Epitome by uh, Zoha Parfum, Zoha Aroma. My bad. I got a bottle of Avon Blue Escape for him. Um, bottle of Set Sail St. Barth. I actually need that for a video. Good call there. We have a fake bottle of um, Fierce. Uh, I was going to do a video comparing real versus fake. I got that about a year ago from my friend Adam. Shout out to Adam if he's watching this. Probably not. This video is too long, and I never got around to it. Maybe I will. If you guys want to see how to compare real and fake, fierce, let me know. CK1 Summer, what's this, 2018? Probably. Something like that. Another bottle of Guerlain Homme Eau de Toilette, 30 ml. Do you see that? That's disgusting. Uh, Dua Fragrances Vetivero. I'm pretty sure this is their take on Roja Parfums Vetiver. Then we have like a little small splash bottle of Tommy Bahama Poor Ohm. This is actually an aftershave. It's vintage. This came out of my dad's work. Okay. Home stretch right here. Swiss Arabian Shag Half Oud. Cremo Bourbon and Oak. I did a video on Cremo. Cremo, or I'm sorry. We got Swiss Arabian Oud Al Gucha. Dolce & Gabbana 21 Le Faux. Don't like it. Val de Serini Cool Force Sport. This one is Larsen Parfumé Batucada. This is weird. This smells like bubble gummy. I don't know. It's just weird. I never wear it. Um, got Revert by Rue 21. That's old as the hills. Got Crimo Silver Water and Birch. Kind of Silver Mountain Water esque. Uh, Swiss Arabian Schumach Al Gutra. Yachtman Red, this was like a two or three dollar fragrance I got. Um, and then um, we actually have Zerjoff Bouquet IDL. Now, I told you that I only have one Zerjoff, and that's true. Uh, I'm sorry. A little bit dusty there. Um, the reason why this one's basically just broken. 
Um, it doesn't smell too bad. It's just empty and it's just an empty bottle. So I have a Zerge off on my cheap shelf. I'm sorry. Okay guys, there you have it. That was my updated fragrance collection. Again, I don't know how much money I have tied up in this. I put a counter on the screen so you can see exactly how much money I have in fragrances. And um, that number's growing by the day. Uh, next year, it's not gonna be a fun video. So hopefully you guys made it through to the end of this one. Hopefully it was entertaining. Again, put it off because that was a lot of work. My, it's, it's just exhausting. You never know how many you have until you try to go through them. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to see anything else similar to this or if you have any other ideas for videos you want to see, let me know down in the comments. That's going to do it, guys. So uh, we'll see you next time. Oh, and I need to uh, do my Dolce & Gabbana ones right Right here we have Dolce & Gabbana the one EDP. We got Dolce & Gabbana the one gray. Dolce & Gabbana The One Intense, the new one. Dolce & Gabbana The One EDT. And Dolce & Gabbana The One Royal Knight. Alright. I'm out, bro.